goalscorer in the first match of the season against Sheffield Wednesday. For the 38 minutes he was on the field today, Waddle's influence was the greater. He teed up a great early chance for Carlton Palmer. Andy Hinchcliffe made the goal line clearance. Waddle's follow-up whistle cleaned through the goalmouth confusion. And it only needed a touch. Wednesday needed only 15 minutes to go into the lead, though. Neville Southall looking a little ring rusty. Manor from heaven for Nigel Pearson, who volleyed the visitors gratefully into the lead. But that was as good as the day got for Chris Waddle. Seven minutes before the break, the happy homecoming came to a sad end. Waddle suffered strained knee ligaments that will put his Premier League career on ice for several weeks. Number seven's time was up for now. Everton took their cue to take charge of the game, and it was Beardsley who provided the spark that lit the fuse for an equaliser on the stroke of half-time. Roland Nielsen's header falling conveniently for Barry Horn to mark his Everton debut with a corker off the crossbar. 24 hours after Everton had invested half a million pounds in a specialist goal scorer, Paul Rideout, it was their other summer signing who provided the payout. The second half belonged to Everton in all but goals. Beardsley had the best chance to provide a winner, but although he waltzed his way towards a glorious opening, he couldn't quite walk the ball through it. Right out, preferred to Maurice Johnson in Howard Kendall's starting lineup, almost capped a willing display with a headline goal. But Chris Woods got it right at the second attempt, and Wednesday got a point.